when the morning was come. All the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Then Judas, Judas, which had betrayed him when he saw he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the thirty pieces of silver to the three priests and elders, saying, I have sinned in that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, what is that to us? See that to that. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. And the chief priest took the silver pieces and said, It is not lawful for to put them in the treasury because it is a prize of blood. And they took counsel and bought with them the porter's feet to bury strangers in. Wherefore, that field was called the field of blood unto this day. Then was it fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet, saying, And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the price of him that was valued, whom they of the children of Israel did value, and give them for the porter's field, as the Lord appointed me. Jesus. And Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, saying, Art thou the king of the Jews? Jesus said unto him, Thou said it. And when he was accused, of the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing. Then said Pilate unto him, Hearest thou not how many things the weakness against thee? And he answered him to never a word, insomuch that the governor marveled greatly. Now the fees of governor was what to release unto the people a prisoner whom they would. And they had then a notable prisoner called Barabbas. Wherefore, when they were gathered together, Pilate said unto them, Whom will ye that I release unto you? Barabbas or Jesus, which is called Christ. For he knew that for envy they had delivered him. When he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, Have nothing to do with that just man, for I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. But the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor answered and said unto them, Whether of the twin will either I release unto you? They said, Barabbas. Pilate asked, said unto them, what shall I do then with Jesus, which is called Christ? They all said unto him, Let him be crucified. They all said unto him, Let him be crucified. And the governor said, Why? What evil had he done? For he cried out the more, saying, let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he could not prevail, when Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a torment was made, he took water and washed his hands before the mortal to saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See here to read. 
then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. Then released he Barnabas unto them. And when he has caused Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers. And they striped him and put on him a scarlet rope. And when they had planted a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head and a reed in his right hand. And they bowed the knee before him and mocked him. Saying, Hail King of the Jews! And they spied on him and took the reed and smote him on the head. And after they had mocked him, they took the rope off from him and put his own raiment on him and led him away to crucify him. And as they, they came out, they found a man of the Syrian, Simeon, by name. Him they compelled to bear his cross. And when they will come unto a place called Golgotha, that is to say, a place of skull, they gave him vinegar to drink, mingle with God. And when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. And they crucified him and parted his garment, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled which was spoke, spoken by the prophets. They parted my garment among them, and upon my virtue did they cast lot. And sitting down, they washed him there, and said up over his head his accusation written this is jesus the king of the jews then we had dear two thieves crucified with him one on the right hand and another on the left and they that passed by reveled him wagging their heads and saying Thou that destroyed the temple and builded it in three days, save thyself. If thou be the Son of God, come down from the cross. Likewise, also the chief priest mocking him with the scribes and the elders said, He saved others, himself he cannot save. If he be the king of Israel, let him him now come down from the cross and we will believe him he trusted in god let him deliver him now if he we have him for he said i am the son of god the thieves also which were crucified with him cast the same in his teeth now from the sixth hour there was darkness all over the land until the ninth hour and about the ninth hour jesus cried with a loud voice saying eli eli Lama Sabatini, that is to say, my God, my God, was has that forsaken me? Some of them that stood there when they heard that said, This man called for Elas. And straight away one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave him to drink. The rest said, let it be. Let us see whether Elias will come to save him. Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghosts. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent and twin from the top of it to the bottom. And the earth did 
earthquake and the rocks rained and the graves were opened and many bodies of the saints which slept arose and came out of the graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared unto many. Now when the centurion and they that were with him watching Jesus saw the earthquake and those things that were done, they feared greatly, saying, Truly, this was the Son of God. And many women were there, beholding far off, which followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering unto him, among which was Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Joseph, and Mary and the mother of Zebedee's children. among which was Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of the Zebedee's children. When the evening was come, there was a rich man of the Arimata named Joseph, who also himself was Jesus' disciple. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus then Pilate commanded the body to be delivered, and when Joseph had taken the body, wrapped it with a clean linen cloth, and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn out in the rock, and he rolled grey stone to the door of the sepulchre and departed. And there was Mary Magdalene, and the other Mary sitting over against the sepulchre, now the next day that followed, the day of the preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees came together unto Pilate, saying, Sir, we remember that the deceiver said, Why he was yet alive? After three days I will rise. Command therefore that the sepulchre be made sure unto the third day, lest his disciples come by night and steal him away and say unto the people, He is risen from the dead. So the last error shall be worse than the first. Pilate said unto them, Ye have a watch, go your way, make it as sure as ye can. So they went and made the sepulchre sure, sealing the stone and setting a watch. In the end of the Sabbath as it began, to dawn towards the first day of the week came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like the lightning and his raiment white as snow, and for the fear of him the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the woman, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus which was crucified. He is not here for his reason, as he said, Come, see the place where the Lord lay, and go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead, and behold, he goeth before you in Galilee, there shall ye see him. Lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly from the sepulchre with fear and great joy, and did run to bring his disciples' word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, All hail! And they came, and held him by the feet, and worshipped him. Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid, go tell my brethren that go into Galilee. Jesus said unto them, Be not afraid, go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and there shall they see me. Now when they were going, behold, some of the wash came into the city and showed unto the chief priests all the things that we had done. And when they were assembled with the elders and had taken counsel, they gave large money unto the soldiers, saying, Say ye, his disciples came by night and stole him away while we slept. And if this come to the governor's ears, we will persuade him and secure you. So they took the morning and did as they were taught. And this saying is commonly reported among the Jews until this day.
Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into the mountain where Jesus appointed unto them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world.